What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity John. Now, I've been getting this story about a rapper by the name of Jay Stash or Day J Dollar Stash. And unfortunately, on New Year's Day, him and his girlfriend, Jeanette Gallegos, who's a very pretty young lady, Hispanic young lady, they were together in a relationship, right? And they had some arguments about their relationship. And unfortunately, on that day, uh, he he killed her. Okay. Then after that, he took his own life. Now he did this in front of her three children. Now, her children were 11, 9, and 7 years old. Okay? So, she was 27. Meaning that the first child she had when she was 16. The second child she had when she was 18. And the third child she had when she was 20. That's the first thing. The second thing is that Mr. J. Stash, um, I watched a little bit of his No Jumper podcast interview. He was a guy that popped bottles, party, didn't have any direction in his life. Um, by all means, it, not a guy that you want to be around, not a guy that you want around your kids. But see, when you are a lady that comes from an environment where you're a teenage mother, you're a young woman, you, you might not always understand what to look for in a man. And you might not understand a lot of these beta male characteristics, okay? Because there are a lot of women out there who have become teenage mothers and stuff like that. They're not coming from, I'm not sure of her background, but as a woman that's pregnant at 16, that tells me that there had to be some instability in her house. Because to have three kids by the time we're 20, that's a lot of instability. And to deal with a guy like this, who is really, in my opinion, from what I understand, a bum, is interesting in itself. My question is, where are the kids' fathers at? All right? Because that's who I'm really caring about. Because the kids saw this transpire. All right? And they'll probably never be the same. To see the guy do that to their mom and then him doing it to, to himself. Where are the kids' fathers if they're all the same person? And when we talk about protection again for women, this is why it is important for women to understand that before you start having children, have a stable man in your life. Have the man commit to you. Because there's so many women out there that we see when they have the children, they're not stable, they're still young, they're still making mistakes and parenting. It happens. Right? You can be a mother and you grow as you you're growing as you're growing up with your kids. Like Alan Iverson's mom was only 15 when she had him, I believe. LeBron James' mom was like 15 when she because you're gonna make mistakes. Because you're young. But see, when you're young and making mistakes, the kids, unfortunately, you don't have the chance all the time to make it right. And this is why women need so much help. And this is why I don't really like a lot of that, you know, oh, all you need is a man to lift something for you. You don't need a father. Yeah, yes, you do. Look at this. Because when you don't have a father and you don't have a man, you get, you, you get involved with crazy people. Who don't care anything about the kids? Now, at least he didn't do anything to the children. But look at how ridiculous this is. And how many kids are dealing with a step parent or somebody acting as a parent who do other things to them? You know, people don't just shoot. Sometimes they do other stuff to children. They violate them in other ways. Because the kids have no protection. Because these are not the kind of men that want to be fathers. They are fly-by-night guys. 
They're doing all kinds of stuff around these kids. Cursing, drinking alcohol, smoking weed, whatever. All right? These are not the parental types. And then when these kids grow up, what do they do? A lot of kids either hate their mom or become like them or both. Sometimes you get some kids that can get away with this, but then those kids can't even be in relationships with nobody. They've seen exactly too much. They've heard too much. They've seen different men come in and out of those houses. I had a, a cousin, my dad's first cousin. She was a trip. She's dead now. This, this lady used to have three and four different dudes thinking that that her daughter was their was was a uh, 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 was their daughter. So she would have three to four different men calling each of these dudes daddy. None of them ain't the daddy. She messing with all of them at the same time. Now I'm not talking about this, but that girl was never the same. And she just like her mama right now. And she got kids, dusty as hell. And the cycle continues. Mama was a single mom. Not all single moms had this issue, but she did. And then these kids kept seeing the same different guys coming in, different guys coming out and all sort of stuff. Then, you know, unfortunately, um, well, fortunately for this lady, she had boys. But sometimes you have ladies that have daughters. And the nuclear family has to be addressed in America, guys. I, I know that child support is what it is. I know that, but it, you got to have it. Because these kids need to be protected by idiots like Jay Stash. All right? And bro, let's say, for example, you had an argument with her. You don't like how the relationship is going. Leave her. I mean, she's 27 with three kids. No offense to her, but you should be, as a rapper, as a guy who's in the up, uh, um, uh, up and coming, you should feel like, you know what? I could probably have some more opportunities than this right here. I'm only 28. These ain't my kids. I could just live her, you know, I'm staying with her here in LA, but I can go out and, and find somebody else. No, what you will get is men with no abundance mindset. Zero. Okay. No abundance mindset. You know, they don't feel like they can get anybody. So she don't want to get in my way. I got to do something bad to her. Just stupid. Just dumb. Okay. And it don't make any sense. Don't make any sense. So, you know, my heart goes out to the family, to the children, um, to everybody involved. But it's a mess, guys. What do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again for another episode of The Celebrity John. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.